can I ask a question, please, Alex? Hi, Robin. Um, hi. Um, you know, we talk about, uh, we were speaking about the other day as well, and I'd like to share your views to the group, please, about as property managers, quite often we have to deal with difficult circumstances. You know, we've got clients where we've got to tell them something that they're going to absolutely not be happy about. Um, so I'd like you to please uh, give us a little bit more of hands-on of how we would communicate something to someone, uh, i.e. your tenant has just destroyed the property um, or, you know, your rent is not being paid. We have a problem. We're negotiating under the, the arrangements at the moment. Um, and how to best, because in the past, owners would be, I'm coming in to see you and we're going to have a face-to-face. -face. And, and the other side of the equation, so it's dealing with very difficult and angry clients. And I'd like if you could please give us some experience about what you've had a situation where you had something that you had to get across in a very volatile environment. Could you please do that? Because I think that the feedback I'm getting from a lot of my clients is that they're finding it hard to pick up and to really interact with social nuances. And they're feeling that they don't feel strong enough to connect on the um, online forum, please. Okay, Robin, thanks for asking the question. You give, you've asked me a lot of questions here. So just so I can get clear, remember we've only got five chunks. This is something really important to remember when you're speaking with your team and with people around you um, to be mindful of how much information you're throwing their way because we've only got so many chunks mentally that we can absorb, which is why mistakes are made and people think, what the hell was that about? So just to clarify, you asked me about... Um, uh, aggressive situations is that right and how to speak with clients yeah so the thing is and i've shared this with you and i'm going to share with you some an experience that i had with uh, a prisoner as well uh, but just very quickly i'm using this here at the moment i'm, I'm sharing with you er i don't know if anyone's ever heard of this it's um from jack canfield jack he, canfield yeah, yeah the, the author of chicken soup. yeah Great awesome book. Look, I use this all the time. My children use this. Um, I used it in the prison system. I used it with my teams. And what this means is this. When something comes your way, for example, an aggressive situation, you're having someone's uh, landlords rang you and they said they're coming or something like that. I'm not sure of the conversations you have, Robin, specifically, but I'm assuming here. So correct me if I'm wrong. If someone is um, about to come your way aggressively, before you say anything, think about what outcome is it that you want. So before you give a response, think about the outcome and work backwards, reverse engineer your response to the outcome that you want. So you're going to ask specific questions. You're going to listen. You're going to validate that person. And I've got all this prepared for you in these um, slides anyway, but you're going to listen to that person firstly and pause. So we have two ears and a mouth for a reason. Pause, listen, and when they're finished, validate them. Acknowledge where they're coming from and then ask a question to understand them more. And the question you ask them is not going to be an interrogation question. It's going to be a question to get you to the outcome. So, Robin, you know, I noticed that, you know, the tenant did blah, 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 and it must be so, you must be so angry about that. You have every bloody right to feel pissed about that. How can we work together to fix that for you right now? Yeah. So it's about acknowledging that they're pissed off, that they're angry. They've every right to feel that. Imagine if it was your house. So the thing is, it's about acknowledging anyone who's aggressive, acknowledging their situation and then responding to that. How, and then the result, how can we work together to get the best outcome for you? Because you know what, this is what I want to do for you. This is what we want to do. We want to be able to get the best outcome for you. So it doesn't happen again. And it's giving that person one, you've, you've, you've listened to me, you know I'm angry and I'm allowed to be angry with you and I've every right to be angry with you because you're the face of the company. What are you going to do about it? I trust that's answered your question, Robin. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Yeah.